Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to Tuesday of your readings. Now we're going to take the other set of cards. So we had two of the Wisdom Oracle that had not turned and then we had movement from the map oracle we also had judgment and then the empress all right so these are the cards for today um the uh the message you're definitely going into something else um, like I said, it's it's kind of eerie because the back of these cards, when I pulled them out, if you look at the judgment card, and that's what had me stop, they almost look like this is this. Uh, the weird part of it is, is they're two completely different. I can tell by the size of them. And um, yeah, this is the, the spacious tarot. So it's it's kind of interesting. But all roads lead to something, right? I love that. The movement, you're going towards something. This road, there's a road. Um, absolutely. Um, the progress that you're making, the way that you're going. Um, we were apparently dealing with something this week um, from the reading yesterday. So we're going to look at what this is trying to say for today. Okay, so fun. We're going to look at the cards. <laughs> By the book and you know oh 11 okay so we've had we're having a lot of ones this week 11 11 angels if you're seeing 11 11 on your clock or 111 um, don't be surprised by it yeah absolutely look at that by the book okay let me flip this one to, oh, TikTok. TikTok and buy the book. You have also 3 and 30. Hmm. All right, Pisces, let's see. I'm going to pull some more from this deck. Or buy the book. Let's take, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the messages. leg up. We had that yesterday and yes I'm putting the cards back this week into this deck because I want to see what it has to say. I'm feeling with these two cards when I look at them especially because you have um, elephants who are um, following each other. Families. This definitely has to do with family. And the emperor yesterday. An authority figure. There's something about um, either somebody that you've looked up to or looked um, somebody you look up to. Okay, It doesn't need to be male, female, but it's somebody that you've um, always taken like um, their advice Okay, it could be also like a boss. It could be, uh, I don't know, a mentor. A mentor is what I'm looking for here. Um, could be a grandparent, um, father figure, mother figure. It doesn't really matter, but it's somebody that has always been there for you. There is something about this combination this week. And I know I'm repeating, but it has to be dealt with. There's something here that needs to be dealt with. Okay, a clear message is coming through for somebody who's afraid to talk to that person. This is this is weird. Okay. Okay. So the way it comes, it's coming through. It's let's say you've decided to do a certain or go a certain way in your life. And somehow, some way, you're feeling apprehension of telling this person, this person who's a mentor, 
this person who you look up to. Um, you are afraid to tell them or you're just, you're feeling very apprehensive about it. Okay. Um, so this message, there's, there's a message here for you. Okay. Yeah, definitely, because I see like the contemplation. And this is something about feeling like you have been thinking about doing this for a while. Why is this not? Why is this? These are so reflecting now. I'm having a hard time with the light. With the light. With the light. Okay. So let's see here. Better, I guess. I don't know why it's suddenly difficult with this, but we'll just leave it like that. Okay. Oh. Well, there's a light that's out. So, let's turn this light on, first of all. There we go. Okay. So. Let's put that here. Let's put that here. Let's change things around. Okay, one more from this. I'm feeling fire energy here too again. Is it somebody who's set in their ways or they have a very definite um, way of thinking of things and you're thinking on different terms, wanting to do different things? I, definitely. See all of this fire energy and then there you have the Knight of Wands which is an obstacle. Look at all this orange coming in. Look at all this orange coming in. So there's definitely something here um, about contemplating how you're gonna how you're going to figure out this obstacle. Now a leg up, like I said, it could be that there's somebody who can help you with the situation. It could also be this mentor we're talking about, whoever it may be, family, friend, mate, whatever. Somebody who is just always been there, uh, boss, co-worker, anybody, okay? Um, it's somebody that you look up to, definitely. And, and something here is that, this is like by the book, this is like follow the leader, you know, growing into status. But if you look here at the end, you see, you know what I'm getting from this Pisces, especially at this, is that if this is truly the mentor, and this is you, They've always wanted you to be the person you were meant to be, okay? Um, a true mentor wants the people who, who have looked on them for advice. Um, they, they want them to find their own place in the world. That's a true mentor, okay? Somebody who is helped you along so that you could shine and find your own way. I'm just saying, okay? So we're going to go to this one here by the book. And that's what I feel. I feel that you've been, actually we, we've done by the book. I'm going to go to TikTok. I feel that that's what we have been talking about. That you have been wanting to do things by the book for so long. But now that has changed. You're, you want to go on your own. You want to be like the page. You want to create. This is all like fire energy. That's what I'm feeling. And you, yeah. This could be as easy as I don't know what people are going to think of me. What are people going to think of me? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And definitely feeling like there's a, a time, yeah, a change in the wind, right? TikTok, a change in the wind. So there's something coming around. There's something coming up. And it's really time to move on it. Like I said yesterday. Um, and it's another 3. 12, 30, 12 is 3. The Empress Creativity. Definitely coming in here as a there's a, a specific timeline. 
and it's not to put a rush on it, you know, say good things come to those who, you know, wait and plan and all that. It's just that I feel that, I feel that they're saying it's time for you to do it. You know, it's time, there's a lesson in having a time frame to do certain things too. It gets you to grab the courage and go and do it, okay? It gets you to face your fears. It gets you to move forward. Ace of Swords, right, Clarity. Also, it, it brings about a breakthrough, right? It makes you take decisive action on something. It makes you take the important decisions and make them happen, right? King of Wands, more fire energy. Taking the decision, the decisive action, tick-tock, the time is now, okay? It's very definite the way it comes in. The time is right. Chariot. Movement. Chariot, okay? It's like they're telling you, it's, it's time to go. It's time to do it. It's time to move in that direction. It's time to bite in and go. You have to face the music. You have to progress, okay? You have the fulfilling, uh, whatever you've needed to do it. It's time to do it now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's take a look at TikTok. I just, I'm gonna take a look at TikTok here, okay? TikTok is 30, let's see. Let's see what it has to say. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations. Miracles are here right now. Right on time. So, I, I feel that it's telling you just do it, Pisces. Just go with it. Okay? They're talking about linear time here. That humans created it. I just feel that Spirit is telling you that the time is now. Okay? The time is now to ride that chariot, to get that movement, to get it going. Um, and I feel like a need or a necessity to keep saying that. Okay? Okay, so we have movement, which is 28, which comes to 10, which is also a 1, again. Okay? So... A lot of ones here. Also, 10 is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, it's also a one, right? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is about change. It's about, it's about the change that's happening within you, Pisces. You're definitely coming into your own. You're definitely becoming the butterfly. Okay? It's obvious here. There is a butterfly. There is a cocoon here. So you have become more than the sum of your parts. And I really feel like it's time for you to take flight. It's time for you to go. Okay? If 25, which is 7... It's the year of assessment and change. It's the year of moving yourself out of where you've always been and going where you need to go. There's a balloon flying up in the air. That's movement. That's change. There's change in the wind. I mean, just look at this. You see the clouds even in the Page of Swords. 
everything is moving, everything is shifting, everything is changing. I almost feel like they're saying the time is now. I, I feel the time is now. That's that's what I hear. It's it's almost like you've been waiting for that confirmation of is it now? Yes, it's now. It's time to tell the people what you need to tell them. And again, see the air sign, the the clouds, the pondering. Okay. There's a lot of looking up, up into the air. And this one's even got the wand, like the magician's wand. I love that. The sword by your side. Okay. And in this case, you've packed up your heart. It's in here. It's packed up. It's ready to go. You're ready to do this. You're ready to, to fly. You have all of your wisdom and all of your, um, the strength of character, your experience with you. You're ready to go. It's not a question of whether or not you have what it takes. You do. You have everything that you need. You have all that you need. Yeah. There's that Four of Swords that we started with yesterday. And again, you can't, you know, like your heart is protected. Your heart is healed. See? Now you packed it up and you're ready to go. I feel that you have, you are ready. You are strong enough. Um, you have done the work. You've done everything that's needed so far to get where you need to go. You have. Um, it's all up to you now, really. It really all is up to you. There's just this one thing that we keep referring to, okay? This mentor, this situation, this whatever that you have been holding on to um, that just needs to be dealt with. Are you making it worse in your mind than it actually is? The Queen of Wands again. And I'm not going to take this one. The Queen of Wands. What it was was the star in reverse. It's like uh, not going after your goals right away. It almost feels like the world card of yesterday. But you have the Queen of Wands both sides. So this is telling me that you have the fire, the stamina. You have the King and the Queen of Wands both on this table. Saying your masculine and feminine are very well balanced here. Um, there's just you, right? You waiting to get to where you need to go. You are the one who is slowing things up here. Hmm. Interesting. The Judgment card, going from the coal into the beautiful. Being accountable for your choices. I really feel that in some cases, this is the last hurdle. It definitely feels like leaving something behind or being afraid to leave something behind. Something that has meant the world to you. But if you look at this, this is the cold part of your life. This is the winter part that needed to be dealt with and moved beyond. Justice is coming out again. Okay. There's a real message with the 11. 11, 11, 1, 1. It's going to be this week. I mean, if I could put like a name on the readings this week, it would be 11, 11, 1, 1, 1 or 11, 11, whatever it is. You're going to be seeing it a lot. 
a lot. It's all about balance, the ripple effects, even the judgment card. Judgment, I always call it the accountable for the choices and behaviors, okay? And if you look at this one, the justice, this and this one, the yin and the yang, the masculine and feminine I was talking about here, okay? And the ripple effects of that energy. It's right there, okay? You get what you give. So give good. Give lots, okay? Give good, Pisces. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So you have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords, and they fell this way. So the time for indecision is over. Okay. The time for stagnating, done. That's it. Okay. Stack, flat, bored, withdrawal, indifference, dissatisfaction, boredom, uh, doubt, complacency, procrastination, discontent. That's it. You're done. No longer happening here. If you stay in here, you're going to have to deal with the ramifications of such. Okay? You have the Seven of Swords. Also, negative energies the stealing away from yourself, the mental test, the deceptions. And that's what I feel. I feel that maybe this is a deception here. Maybe that's what they're trying to say. That actually the people who support you will stay supporting you. Why would you ever stay with people who don't believe in you? Why would you ever believe in people that don't believe in you? Okay, at one point, you have to believe in yourself. That's, that, that is my personal opinion. You have to believe in yourself. Okay, and they'll either, um, I don't know, they'll either start believing in you or you're going to have to believe in yourself and go your own way. That's just the way it is, Pisces, okay? That's just the way it is. Okay. So let's see here. You have the creativity, that elephant card. You have them both. It's it's so beautiful, the elephant. Okay. Elephant, what are they? It's wisdom. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Elephant. Okay, so let's take a look here. It's, they're, um, mm, okay, are associated with love, loyalty, and healing. Strength, wisdom, protection. Fertility. Gentle giants that are seen and representative of powerful gods in many cultures and religions. They're seen as symbol of luck. And they're also used to represent fertility and, ab and abundance. So, absolutely. This is a fertile time. And that has been coming through gangbusters since the beginning of the week. This is a fertile time for you to be producing or doing whatever it is that you've wanted personally for yourself. There's the Nine of Cups beckoning you to say, time to make those dreams come true, Pisces, okay? And you have the star again, okay? We had it in this deck, and it's coming out again in this one. Just to remind you that this star is shining in the sky, and in this particular deck, it shines bright. It shines like the sun. It's not just a little star. It's like your North Star. The one calling you and telling you to follow it, okay? So it's shining for you. It's coming down to shine for you to remind you that you have one life to live, okay? One time to get it done right now. 
and you don't want to be that person who waits all your life to <laughs> never get it done. Are you destroying back there? It looks like. Okay. So, let's pull some more cards here, Pisces. Um, okay. Again, the 10, the Wheel of Fortune coming in. Okay, it's time to move. It is time to get it done. Another one. Okay. It's seriously the number of the week here. If you guys are looking for like numbers for this week, definitely it. 10 of Wands, the burden associated with this journey. Okay, your, your readings, they look fabulous up until a point. Queen of Pentacles, the resources. They're fabulous up to a point, and then it seems like you snag yourself on something. And that's definitely the word I'm going to use. There's a snag. Just like these cards at the top, you have the Nine of Cups, it's beautiful, you've got the momentum, the progression, and then you hit the Page of Swords. And it feels like that snag um, of the inspirational or the, um, yeah, the inspired, vibrancy, creative, confident person. It's like that little thing that gets inside of your brain that just nags it a little bit, just kind of steals away from the magic that you are and the magic that you're trying to produce. I'm not entirely sure why that is, Pisces, okay? I don't understand exactly why. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do because I, I really want clarification here at this point. I want clarification. So Mona Liam, please, I need more. I need more about this snag. I, uh, we want some help. We want... To figure out because it looks perfect. There's metamorphosis, there's walking into a brand new world, there's creativity, there's following a star, yet there's some apprehension and I want to know the why. Causing problems, the devil, the boundaries. And again, I looked at it and I thought the lovers, and it is, the devil card is basically angel, demon, there's just the two difference. And that's it. This is exactly what I'm feeling, is that it's something here, and you have the Two of Swords at the bottom again. There's something here that is, um, in French, en paiche, that is stopping you from following through. The Seven of Cups. Your choices. It has to do with choices. Choices, choices. Yes, right, okay. So if the lover cards come out, that would be the same, wouldn't it? Right. And you trying to defend that choice. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You're at an impasse. This is what I feel. You're at an impasse right now. You have to try and figure out, are you going to follow your decisions or somebody else's decisions? What is binding you right now is what you think people expect of you and what you want personally for yourself. Do I have to sit there and constantly defend myself? Um, and this is what's stopping this Wheel of Fortune going through. Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune twice here and it came out, came out somewhere else too in reverse, I think. Um, this is definitely what is stopping you here. This is what's slowing down the wheels and the motion. What are you driving yourself crazy about, Pisces? I really need to know this week. Um, let me know in the comments if you can share with. Um, something is definitely uh, 
causing this problem. I'm even getting a headache thinking about this. These readings are causing me a great deal of um, head 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 problems. Like just <laughs> like uh, the groove. I was talking about the groove of a of a record being stuck at the same place over and over and over again. What is this? What is this pain in your butt? Um, it needs to be dealt with. Okay, so you, Spirit, do you have any, do you have any um, suggestions on how to get... <laughs> I told you guys, I told you guys, I told you, the lovers, the devil, differentiate between what is a bound, what is a um, uh, restriction, not a boundary. Uh, yeah, what's between, what is a boundary and a restriction? Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. Judgment. Yeah, but this time it came in reverse. Okay. I'm going to try and say this as quickly as I'm thinking it because it's 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 escaping me right now. Are you afraid of somebody else's judgment more than you are of being accountable for your choices? In other words, are you basing the judgment card on thinking, if I do this, they're going to hold me accountable? without really thinking or taking a deeper look at how you're going to hold yourself accountable. It's like living your life according to somebody else and then somewhere down the line you're going to have to live with that consequence. You're living your life for somebody else or based on somebody else's assessment. Is it worth doing that and then having to be accountable for that choice later? I hope you're understanding, okay? Because I feel that's what you're, you're yeah, that's what they're saying, the emperor. Here is this, this is this, this is this mentor force, right? It could be a father. I know in my case it would be a father, okay? If I was to look back on my life when I made decisions, well, my father wouldn't agree with that. I was very young, though. After a while, I didn't care. But it comes with age. But at one point, I was going, well, what will my father think? Okay? What would my mother think? You know? Um, exactly. Exactly. Uh, would I be able to tell my father the spiritual work that I do now? Yeah. Yeah. Back then, oh hell no. <laughs> oh no, no. I probably would have been called a witch. Uh, yeah. He'd been looking for the stake, maybe. He was a very spiritual person though. But to have his daughter being that, oof, I don't know. I don't know. Now it doesn't care, of course not. But I mean, you know, like, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. When you become deeply spiritual and you follow a path that's not designed by them, you know, by the people who've come before you, mentors, parents, people that you've looked up to, people that you don't want to disappoint, oh my god, this is the big one. These are the people you don't want to disappoint. This is it. You don't want to disappoint these people. But you want to defend what you're doing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Will it be more important for you not to disappoint them, but then to disappoint yourself? This is, this is the million dollar question. Is it more important to not disappoint them or to not disappoint yourself. Alright, so let's pick a let's pick out of here. Let's pick something. 
Let's go deep. Let's go deep. Oh my lord. Okay. So you have beautiful green cross. We'll take that. Um, to me, the sign of the cross is a sign of an organized religion. And again, I feel that this is like tapping on of the shoulder of what's come before. So I'm going to put it on the emperor. And strong is beautiful. Oh, here you go, Pisces. Spirit is telling you. Having strength in your convictions is a beautiful thing. Okay? It's a beautiful thing. I wish I could send this to you guys right now. So you could put it on your keychains and just keep it. Strong is beautiful because it's worthy, right? We'll put it on the Seven of Wands because I feel that is holding up your own, right? Then you have the word wish. And you have the star here. How important is your wish for a beautiful aligned life. How important is it to you, Pisces, that you get that, oh my god, I can't even believe it. go Pisces okay um, I'm gonna put it right here on the four of cups <laughs> this lag this is this is what's happening that's why this is happening okay you have a beautiful whale tail gorgeous okay um, if I'm I, and I'm hearing from them, and I may be wrong, but I'm hearing from them that whales travel in like their 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 groups, right? And the thing is, Pisces, is that you may be feeling like you have been in the group, but at one point you do have to strike out. I'm gonna put this by the book because that's where I feel it belongs. And there you go. You go from being a whale to Pegasus, which is learning how to fly, okay? At one point, you need your wings, you need to fly. I feel that's why the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords are coming in here. It's like a switch. It's a switch of who you've been, you know? It's becoming like from becoming an accountant to a painter. There's a big honking, big difference between the two, right? But remember, you were never meant to be in this world anything but who you were, the shell, the emotional, beautiful being that you were always meant to be. This is a flower. You're coming in bloom, a different kind of flower, again in bloom. This one's like not quite bloom. This one is completely bloom. I feel that the two are coming in together to show that. This almost looks like the cog of a wheel, the wheel of fortune turning. Things are turning, things are shifting. And very least, last but not least, oh, this is this is the most profound one for me, Pisces. I'll tell you this much because it's got first of all the the crown which is, you see that both with the king and the queen of, uh, right here, the queen of wands, okay. Oh yeah, and that's from yesterday, I didn't take it out, it was still on the queen, okay. So you have the crown that's still there, and the wings that I was talking about, you taking flight, and the moon, which is you, it could also be the, um, the high priestess, Okay, which is at the bottom of this deck, the High Priestess, showing up. Um, she's also at the bottom of this deck. Yeah, yeah, bottom of this deck, bottom of this deck, and this, okay? Um, 
showing you that you have an intuitive gift to be who you're, to be more than the sum of your parts, more than the people who have mentored you, more than the people who you think depend on you, you have a responsibility to yourself to be happy. You know, my advice to you as a reader and as a human, a human on this planet is don't shortchange your journey to make somebody else happy. Everybody has a responsibility to be the very best and to be aligned with who they're meant to be. And if it means that it's going to rustle, ruffle, ruffle, rustle, ruffle some feathers along the way, sadly, you're never going to make everybody happy all of the time. But I feel that it's very imperative that you make yourself happy as much as you can. And that's not to say that you're just going to stomp all over somebody else's life just because you want something in particular. But don't stomp all over yourself to please other people, okay? So this is kind of a, I don't know, spirit saying that you, ha you have a choice to make. Obviously, there's a choice to be made here. It's, it's being said. All of this very energy of having to deal with these. An angel, a demon. What am I, what do I do? You know, like that. What's the what's the angel and the demon of the situation? You're trying to please both sides, or maybe you're afraid you won't be able to please both sides. Would be probably more accurate. Take one step at a time. Move forward and keep yourself keep yourself uh, front and center on this journey. Okay. All right, Pisces. I'm going to let you go with this. I'm going to come back tomorrow, and of course, we're going to keep going. Okay. Of course, you can see here the first card is fork in a road. So obviously, we're going to still be discussing this. Uh, and I'm hoping that spirit comes in stronger and gives you more encouragement and also ideas on how to get rid of the lag. And um, thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings as always, and I will see you later. Bye for now.